the temperature this morning on some college campuses reaching a boiling point. A growing number of protests forming over the ongoing war in the Middle East at campuses across the country, some leading to standoffs, including the University of Texas at Austin. Students and police clashing during protests Wednesday. More than 30 were taken into custody. Protesters gathered outside the jail, with some faculty saying in a statement they would not work today. And overnight, police and protesters also clashing at the University of Southern California. Officers hit with objects arrested more than 90 people, though it's unclear how many were students. And back on the East Coast, a dramatic scene at Emerson College, where students are encamped on an alleyway in the middle of downtown Boston. Police and demonstrators facing off. The tensions rising nationwide as reports of anti-Semitism and Islamophobia have skyrocketed since last October. With the Anti-Defamation League and Center for American Islamic Relations each reporting record high complaints. House Speaker Mike Johnson and other Republican lawmakers at Columbia University Wednesday, where they were shouted at by students. The lawmakers calling on school president Manu Shafiq to resign over her handling of an encampment where police arrested dozens this week, in which some Jewish students say has become a point of intimidation. The first responsibility of a university administrator is to keep their students safe. Mr. Speaker, if you were the president of Columbia University today, mm -hmm. what would you do about this tent encampment? I would immediately bring order to the chaos. If, if necessary, I would call in the NYPD. I, I, would, I would ask the governor to send in the National Guard. The Columbia Board of Trustees has expressed its support for President Manoush Shafiq, saying that she has struck that ever important balance between freedom of speech and also ensuring the safety of Jewish students, making sure that they're not harassed and intimidated on campus. Hoda? Steph, it seems like every day we're reporting on another campus where these protests are breaking out. So what happens next? Well, they're here to stay, according to the students I've spoken with here at Columbia. And we were walking around that encampment yesterday, Hoda, and I was struck by how well organized they are. They have a lot of food coming in. They have good tents. The weather is not that bad. They say they are willing to stay here until their demands are met, even if it means weeks. And in just three weeks, this campus is going to have its graduation. And it takes place exactly where that tent encampment is set up right now, Hoda. All right. Stephanie Gosk, Forrest there at Columbia. Steph Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.